Okay, apparently I have a 10 minute maximum record time on my phone for uh, recording in 1080p and 60 frames per second. I'll note that away and remember that for later, next time. See all the lettuce is coming up. Sunflower right there, right there. Sunflowers are coming up too. Planted that from inside. It's probably gonna die, it looks like it is. All that lettuce, sunflowers in the back. There we go, all the radishes. Doing exceptionally well. They're all just shooting up out of that, that moss that I played, placed down here and I think I'm gonna do that from now on. We have to put that thin layer of stuff. I'm not gonna use soil anymore. I'm just gonna go straight with the moss. It's only a few dollars anyway, it's worth it. It makes it a lot easier for these very light vegetables to come in. When you put soil on it, it's too heavy and holds it down. It prevents them from coming up as soon as they can. And all these carrots are going to be coming now, so next week I'd, I'm going to have this new bed to work on. Here we got the sunflowers coming up around the edges, like that other one. All the way around the edges. And not really any of the carrots coming in yet, but carrots normally take a pretty long time. Fairly long time. Actually a really long time now that I think about it. Our broccoli is doing really well. If you look deep down inside, you can maybe make out the, the head. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in there. As the days go on, it'll be a lot easier to show it. And the pumpkin right here is doing really well. Yeah. So we got our pumpkin doing a really good job, just sprouting away enjoying the spot really liking it coming out of from indoors to being planted outside same with this one it was hurting a little bit at first there's a little bit of chipping going on because the seed didn't want to come off right away so I had to go in there and manually do a little bit of uh, work on it but no big deal sometimes you gotta help them along a little bit and we got lettuce coming up more lettuce and more lettuce. Those corn probably won't make it, I don't know, but we'll see in time. Broccoli in the center, which is looking worse than that one that I pulled out, but I decided to leave it because I have more light. Cut off those bottom ones, they shriveled up, and now looking at the top, looks wonderful. Got a little aphid right there or whatever that is, kill it, kill it with the thumb. Yeah, see, it's doing fine. Just like the big daddy over there. That one grew a whole lot sooner than this, but this was the second batch that I put in. And out of maybe, let's say, four or six holes that I put here of seeds, the first time only that one really came out, and the second time those two came out, but then I got rid of the one that was underneath that because there's not enough light. And one last thing, so we got the portable bin here for lettuce. And it's doing really well, nothing but lettuce all over. And it's looking good. This is gonna be this is gonna be a wonderful uh, thing for you know during the summer. Come on home from work. Step right off the door. Like literally two feet. Boom, lettuce. And then just walk over a little bit more in a couple of weeks or so. Have carrots. I'll be able to put the lettuce and the carrots. Hopefully them tomatoes by the end of uh, by the end of summer, like maybe end of July, August, have a bunch of tomatoes from that one and this one. But that back one, I don't know. It, I don't really have high hopes for that one in the back. But this front one I do. This is uh, the one that I'm looking forward to most because it's heat tolerant. It's made specifically for California, pretty much. And Ben's chomping away on some sticks. And with that, I didn't leave you with Ben chewing on sticks. Is that a good boy? All right, we gotta pick these up, okay? You play a little bit, and then we'll pick them up and head on inside, okay? All right, good boy. Yeah, play with your sticks.